Welcome back, Gadgeteers. So today's the big day for me. What I plan on doing today is upgrading my Dell 5675 Ryzen 7 1700 to Fedora 28. Now, I don't expect any problems, but the biggest problem that I had, if we take a look here, if I go ahead and open Kaden Live, and I do a look for my template and you can see it opens up just fine right now it has my end set up for my outro on the video and my intro set up plus a couple of other things now everything seems to be working fine I have noticed on my Yoga 920 which was upgraded to Fedora 28 and has version 18.04.2 uh, my animations here disappeared which is a real bummer so let me go into settings here and I'll go into environment I just want to make sure my processing thread is one for right now and you can see it's playing right now I'm gonna cruise back over here zoom in a bit let's see if it does the animation here in the window and I think what I'll do is make that a little bit bigger so that you can see it a little easier and let's see if we can see it yeah it kind of dissolves in and then back out again so if I click on that I did quite a bit of work to get it working and I hate to lose it again so I've got um, a square blur function here that it basically comes in and then dissolves out and then again f dissolves out it gives that effect and then I put a little vignette effect on it so that it would have somewhat of a 3d effect so you can see here if I actually go over here and I turn it off notice how the color is solid now and I turn it back on not a huge difference but enough and then of course the square blur if I have it off this is what it looks like just kind of pops in so that square blur effect really does quite a lot for these uh, titles that come in and I hate to lose those so we're gonna see what happens basically what happened on the yoga 920 is all of these effects simply disappeared um, they were still here as title clips but all of the effects that were in were gone so when I upgraded to version 18.04 uh, you know as usual when you load a previous project it tells you that it's going to do an update in Caden live to that particular project it did the update and there went my titles but they were still hanging around in here but not the effects that I created now the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and do an update so check this out I've got a ton of updates and they always recommend doing these updates first so what I want to do is update Fedora 27 and we're going to check and see if indeed once doing the updates to Fedora 27 Caden Live will no longer load my projects because that was what happened on the Yoga 920. So if I do a DNF update I've got quite a few updates. Let's do a sudo for that and then it'll actually work and I'm gonna make it much larger for you guys to be able to see and we're gonna run update we're gonna type in the password and we actually have 1.2 gigabytes of updates now to be honest I normally just go ahead and do the Fedora 28 update but we're doing some testing here so we're going to do the update to Fedora 27 and then we're gonna find out if I can still load my project files especially my templates 
I want to say the answer to that will be no, but we're going to find out. Here's what I'm thinking. It could possibly be a hardware issue compatibility-wise on the Yoga 920. So the Dell, of course, is a completely different system. It's a desktop system. Um, it has the Ryzen 7 processor. has the same amount of RAM as my Yoga 920. So that probably isn't a factor but you know you think of the chipset being an intel chipset the motherboard being completely different um, it has a different ssd although i don't think that has anything to do with it it does have different video which could have something to do with it but i'm somehow doubting it i, I really think it would be a chipset thing but the fix that i did before was to install the flat hub repository support and remove Caden Live and then install the flat hub version, which is the latest 18.04.2, which I did on the Yoga 920. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to let these updates go. I'm going to speed this up and we're going to come back. We'll do a reboot after all of this and then we're going to find out whether or not Fedora 27 updated will let me open my project files in Caden Live. All right, so the update to Fedora 27 is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and issue a reboot. Once it's done, we'll be right back. All right, well, we are back. So interesting, couple of things happened when I rebooted the system after the rather large 1.2 gigabyte Fedora 27 update. The desktop on my left monitor, which is the one I mainly use, was completely black, but it did have the toolbar here. All the icons were missing. They were gone. And there was no right click option, so I couldn't do configure desktop or any of that functionality. So that was really strange. All I did to fix the problem was do a reboot. Now, the second thing that happened, whoops, see if I can get this over here on GovC view, my camera options are now limited to brightness, contrast, and saturation. Well, I did have a whole ton of options that are now gone and no they are not the H.264 options. Um, there was just about a good another dozen uh, image controls that I could do on the camera so I could change the gain and saturation while well, I have saturation there. but. Uh, which I really rely on. Uh, let me show you what the camera looks like now. So basically all I've got is these three settings. Um, so I can't change color balance or do any of that other stuff. So we're going to continue and do our update. But before we do the update, let me switch back to the desktop. We'll go ahead and launch Caden Live. And we'll do a quick check. We're still on 17.12.3. I should have paid better attention and saw if MLT got an update or melt, depending on what you want to call it. Let's go ahead and open the template pro project. And it opened fine. So, so far, the problems that I was experiencing apparently was only happening on the yoga. And that's really strange. So things are still playing just fine. I'm going to go ahead and close this so theoretically I could just keep using this version and I don't have to worry about changing my projects, updating the 18.04.2 version of Caden Live. Uh, what else could we check really quick? Let's look at about KDE. Do we get a version here? No. All right. Well, anyway, what I want to do next is to go ahead and do the update. So what I'm going to do uh, is install the DNF plugin. It may already be installed because I do this pretty much every time. Whoops. DNF plugin 
dash system dash upgrade so we'll see what it says may or may not be installed oh missing operand huh pseudo <laughs> yeah there really is there we go that'll probably work a little better okay so as expected it was already installed because I've done this previously so we'll do a pseudo DNF system upgrade download refresh release ver equals 28 now if you wanted to you could do uh, there's a couple different versions you could do you could do branched which would be version 29 because once the stable version Fedora 28 is released they branch from version 28 and call it 29 and of course 29 is going to become the next version so they start working on the branched version if you want to do rawhide which is very unstable you could put in release version 30 okay so I do not want 30 I actually want to stick with version 28 now this is only going to do the download my system is fully upgraded I'm gonna say yes now as mentioned before this is just the download phase so it's going to take a few minutes to download but it's when you do the actual reboot that the upgrade takes place so while that's happening it's just a text screen actually it's not even that it's just the fedora logo being filled up now you can press tab to see the upgrade process but it looks much like doing a fedora update to be honest and i have shown that before in previous videos so i'm not going to record that part but what i'll do here is do the download and once the download is completed then we'll go on and reboot and do the actual upgrade now i do have a problem here let's see what it says well this actually is a problem on the update usually what i do if i don't need it is simply remove it looks like pretty straightforward answer i'm just going to grab the text here and we're just going to update PEM, NSS PEM. It really is a better option than uninstalling it because you really don't know what will happen. I've uninstalled a single package before when playing around with mouse drivers. You probably remember that video. And I had terrible, terrible luck. Uh, it was a real problem so I ended up crashing my system it wasn't worth it so let's do this update see if it works I love the error message though NSS-PEM has inferior architecture pretty serious okay here come the PEM NSS-PEM updates Okay, so I'm familiar with NSS. NSS, of course, is Network Security Services, and I wasn't familiar with the PEM part of it. Apparently, PEM is a package number 11 module that was added, and it is a PEM file reader for NSS, so that's all that was. So we did that update. Now let's go ahead and check out and see if we get lucky here, and we now can get... Fedora 28 upgraded and hopefully I can get my settings back in GovC view for my Logitech uh, C920 looking good this time 2.8 gigabytes about half of the Fedora 27 upload so I'm gonna go ahead and say yes Fedora update I should say and so we've got about 20 minutes of downloading so i think i'm going to pause here let the download complete 
and then we're going to do a reboot. So before I do my reboot, I'll be back and we'll look at the message that we get. All right, folks, welcome back. We're ready for the next step. So the download is completed. Now there's a couple of different things I can do. One, I can just go ahead and run DNF system dash upgrade reboot and it'll begin the process of installing the upgrade to Fedora 28. I can remove any cached metadata if I want and do a clean of the system upgrade files. Uh, so the downloaded packages are sitting in cache. They're all downloaded. It took about 20 minutes. And if I wanted to, I could remove those packages, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and run this command. But of course, I'm going to have to stop the video recording when I do that because it's going to instantly begin a reboot and do the installation. I'm going to see on the flip side when I do will be on Fedora 28. Before I take off, I got a couple of commands I ran here. One was history and I saved the commands that I've run so far. But what I want to do is real quick have a look at the kernel. So you may remember we were on a 4.14 kernel before we did the upgrade to Fedora 27. And right now we're on 14.7.2 of Fedora Core. 27. I'm going to copy that kernel and save it and we'll see what version we get upgraded to upon reboot. folks we're back and let's have a look and see what kernel we're on now uname dash r so we are still on 4172 i believe that was the previous kernel let me restart firefox so i put my notes in firefox uh it is one version newer dash 200 versus dash 100 before i don't know how significant that is but we're definitely on the new kernel so we definitely have fedora 28 installed reboot went perfectly installation went perfectly uh, unfortunately I'm still missing all of my tweaks for my camera so I'm gonna have to do a little investigating it seems like I had this problem before and I figured it out um, could be a camera output issue I think I might have might select YU 12 or YV 12 so what the heck we'll try it uh, nothing so far. Well, let's close that and reopen it. And slide it back over. I'm not seeing a difference yet, but uh, I'll see what I can figure out. And I will definitely put it on the fastgadgets.info website. And I'll send something out on Twitter. So, at fastgadgetstech, if you are not on my Twitter feed... Um, I try to also put it on Facebook. I'm going to try to get to the point where I update everything on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and the FastGadgets.info website all simultaneously. So i got to figure that out because that's a big booger right there. That's, that's a real problem for me. Um, not issue today, though, but, yeah, I'm missing a lot of those settings. So we're on the newest kernel. And I'm going to jump into Caden Live here. 
and let's do a help and about Caden Live. So we're still on 17.12.3. We're going to open up the Fast Gadgets template. Do you think it'll work? Uh, this was the deal breaker that started it all Fedora 28 and 17.12.3 on the Yoga 920. Let's see what happens. Yes, check it out, folks. It crashed. So that's exactly what happened before. So I am going to have to go ahead and set up Flat Hub, which is not too difficult. Let me start a new browser window here. And we'll slide it over here. And I believe it is flathub.org. We'll click on Quick Setup. We'll select Fedora. We'll grab the Flat Hub repository file, and I'm just going to go ahead and select Open With. <clears throat> and I'm going to say Yes, Please Install. Give it the root password or administrative password. So it looks like it's installed now. Typically it takes a little while for Flat Hub to show up. So I'm going to follow my own tip, which is to go over here to my site. And after you install the repository, we want to restart GNOME software, which is the app that we're using to install different packages. Uh, I guess I don't need to do that. I can just go over here and paste in that command. Now before I do that, I'm going to do a sudo dnf remove kdenlive. All right. So we're getting rid of 17.12.3. And then, just easier for me, I'm going to go ahead and type in software, and I'm going to use, I don't want Apper. Where did it go? I saw it there for a second. Maybe that's really officially what it's called. Soft, there it is right there, not Apper. The middle one, which is the GNOME tool. So that's a good sign where it said it was reloading the catalog. Now, if I do a search for Caden Live, I get two. And you can see one has download flathub.org. So I will install the flat pack. Once I install it, we're going to have a look and see if I lose those uh, special titles that I had inside my project file. All right, so the new Caden Live is installed. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. And real quick here, we'll just go full screen, we hope. We'll do help about Caden Live. And we now have version 18.04.2. And I will close that. And now, now I notice I don't have open recent anymore. Well, that's okay. We just reinstalled it. So we're going to go to my home directory and then Caden Live. And we want, let's do a sort by name. It'll make our life a little easier. And we're going to grab Fast Gadgets Template Patreon at the end. And now it's opened and it looks like my effects are still there. So let's go ahead and run this title and see what happens. Yep, might be very hard for you to see, so I'm going to pause it for a second. Drag it down. We're going to try that again. Okay, and we'll let go. I'm not sure what's going on there. So let's try to drag it down a little less. I don't know why it's doing that. 
it shouldn't be snapping back up. Anyway, there's always something interesting when you do an upgrade, always. And that's one of the quirks of Linux. And I hear often from people complaining about it. The fact is, I don't think it's that big a deal. I get used to little things like that, and I learn how to either fix them or work around them. And, you know, I've got the MacBook back here. It's kind of the same thing. It doesn't really matter what OS you're on. You kind of get the same issues. All right, so we successfully upgraded to Fedora 28 using DNF. It was pretty straightforward. We did have that one strange error with the NSS package that we had to fix, but we got past that quickly. Hope you enjoyed this video. For those of you who can't stand when people say, don't forget to subscribe and click the little icon bell. And of course, share the video. Just ignore that. If you get a chance, drop a like. If you like the video a lot and you have something you'd like to add, drop a comment, let me know. And of course, you always have the option to dislike. Hey, not every video is perfect. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Fast Gadgets. This video was made possible with support from viewers like you. If you find this video useful, consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month at patreon.com forward slash fast gadgets.